Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Vorant here, and today we are kicking off back in our little fallback point. So today I've been doing a little bit of digging around the map. And as tasty as this place looks, I would also like to check out some of these black buildings on the outskirts. So all of these are industrial and pretty dead set on that just being like an old train yard. Probably not a lot of gear out of that, but these, these to me look like little warehouses. Now the warehouses on this game tend to be unreal. They tend to have so much gear, probably more gear than you're ever going to need. And if I want to start pushing in this direction, that's going to be a pretty good spot to have loot to fall back to. So we've come a very, very long way with this being our furthest fallback point. So one day I am going to have to shift a whole lot of gear from down here all the way down to here. But if we can maybe conquer one of these industrial sites, it might make the need for this gear a whole lot less necessary, if that makes sense. And then we can keep a fallback base back there, have a fallback base down here, plus have a perfect little supply line just down the bottom end here too. So yeah, I think I might make that the game plan. So we're slowly going to start running out of gear and oh, I wouldn't mind leaving that here as well. Sooner we start running out of gear, it's going to be a big problem. So if I can track down some gear before, before we need it and sort of get ahead of the curve a bit, then it could save our life. Really good. And we could also find a generator and get that fuel station up and running, which in itself would be unreal. So I think, I think that would be enough to make this whole mission a huge success. So I think if we ever wanted to get a generator down this end, this would have been a crucial mission anyway. Was that a brand new pickup? No. Not even a brand new taxi. But yeah, this this whole taking out the hospital mission would have absolutely had to happen regardless. So it's not all the waste. So it tends to be not a lot of excellent gear inside, but the level of Zeds just scratched an itch that I've been wanting to scratch for a very long time. And it was a hell of, hell of a lot of fun doing it. All pays off in the end. Yeah, my fellas. They are flooding out today as well. From the front end too, I thought we had this place clear. Guess there's a whole lot more upstairs than I ever thought of. <laughs> so I did clear around the back a touch. Didn't touch the side to be fair. Take back everything I said. But yeah, I did clear around the back a little bit and kind of made the, you know the little herd that we were tackling at the end of last episode, just around that backside. Basically took those guys out. Maybe 20, 30 Zeds. Nothing too crazy. That could have been pretty crazy. And yeah, just gave us a little bit of breathing room from the Zeds that were pouring in. They were just pretty relentless at the end of last episode. So it's going to be nice to have at least a little break from it. I mean, we'll absolutely take the place out. But not today. All right, what have we got? I feel like I've never actually been down there properly. Or when we have, it's been very brief and kind of just a little fly through whilst we're being chased by Zeds. So I'm quite unfamiliar with it all. So I don't really know of any hot spots down there or any solid places to go other than the police station. So if anyone's got any. Any tips, any recommendations of places to go, drop a comment, let me know. So there'll be a huge help. I try not to use the, uh, the Projects Onboard Map project too much. I mean, it's been a very long time since I've used it because exploring the world completely unknown is so much more fun than having an idea of what's going on. Ooh. No gas, but a key does look pretty banged up now I'm looking at it, but also looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's have a look. Not bad. That little car looks good too, but pretty good gear. That'll repair our machete. I think we did hit level 2 with that, didn't we? Yeah, long blade. Literally just over the mark of level 2. Steed is brand new. And locked, of course. 
Might as well get them whilst we're here. Backyard smelting for dummies. Lovely. Make metal pipe mold, cast metal pipe. That's not bad. Make metal bar mold. Nice. There's a whole lot of stuff we can do. The world is yet to be fully explored. So that, that workshop mod is one that I do really want to get into. Oh, and a gas can as well. Okay, I'm going to mark this on the map. Where's the old red star at? Red star, red star, red star. You can have a little one. Car. Brand new car. Should have wrote step fan. I think, I think a big hauler is something that we are really missing. Oh, someone did comment about doing tailoring as well. And all of those Zeds at the hospital. So I absolutely need to do that before they'll disappear. That's kind of an important thing. Oh, the amount of thread we could get out of that. But again, it has to be pretty safe. Come on. How many of you are there? Just flooding around that corner. Be here all day at this rate. That's still coming. I can hear them. Christ. That's a busy house. Oh, that's, it's a whole residential street. This is going to be busy as hell. I don't think I should have just started down here. Hey, old fella. Oh, there's a whole party going on in there. Ah. Little silly. Give me lads. Yeah, this is not going to plan at all. Pull them all back down this way. Hopefully we don't get collared by more Zeds down here. But let's get a bit of a nicer, nicer fighting angle going. Actually see what we're doing this way. Does it? Tell you what, I'm very excited for that level 10. Like you would not believe. Where are we? 3,000 in. We're like a third of the way through. We can clear it. I reckon. Give it seven episodes. We'll clear it in a week. One more straggler behind. We want to be going this way. Don't really want to touch any of this if we can help it. Are you coming? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm sure we are just down the end of this on the left. Yeah. Hopefully it's fairly quiet. Ooh, what's that? Kitchen knife. Nothing we need except for those beta blockers. They would be lovely. Yawning. That is not the bit I was after at all. Do really need to stop checking maps in the open though. I will absolutely get myself killed doing it one day. Alright, let's get to our industrial point. It's the important bit. This place looks like hell. This does not look good. I think we've got one more street to go as well. This is going to be hard work. I'm starting to think I should have started here instead of the hospital. <laughs> Easy does it. At least we've got a nice funnel there. Whole way through should be a breeze. Yeah, that's the one. That building on the left is the one that we want. And luckily enough, it's the least overrun of the two. So I didn't quite check what that building was on the right, but I don't think it's a warehouse. And the mouth coming in clutch. There we go. Lally job. Alright, what was that? It could be a warehouse. Could also be residential. Yeah, I think that's residential. At least we don't have to fight for all of those sets. Does make life easy somewhere. Give them fellas. Oh, I was having a look at the, uh, the Projects on Board Thursday update the other day. And they're added in fully destructible 
metal wire fences and they can basically remember that bit in the walking dead when all the zeds are at the prison and they're like basically making this whole fence bow before it breaks that's what they're adding that's gonna be unreal it's gonna be so good so your your little safe base is no longer a safe base and i cannot wait for it i really can't everything else is destructible in this game and they're the only things that aren't and i'm looking forward to the day that they are which does also bring back the heavy, heavy importance for spears. So if you can just walk, walk the fence line every day, clearing out piles and piles of zeds to keep your base safe, it's going to be excellent, especially for a multiplayer server. Ah, more beta blockers. Thank you very much. Come on. There we go. Please don't destroy the garage door. Another thing I wish that you could build. Ah, oh, come on. It's got to be a way in somewhere. So there's too many metal doors on this building. I don't really want to break them. So much stronger than the wooden ones. Pulled into a fight I really did not want to be in. Get out of here, boy. Too bad though. I feel like they're funneling quite well. Yeah, they've only broken one fence too. Too easy. One down. Ah, oh, door what you got. Looks like a bread bar. Not getting my hopes up on this one. Yeah, there she is. Okay, last but not least. Not too shabby. All right, can we get through one of these windows? Excellent. Thank you, ma'am. Doesn't really look like there's anything in there at all. Beautiful. <laughs> Brilliant. We've got about five crates in there. Maybe I should check the map. It'll tell me everything that I need to know. I can hear so many Zeds. Why? Is there that many upstairs? so many of them and a helicopter classic all right that little blue car's gonna come in handy way before i thought it would let's get out of here uh where to go though is the question ah nowhere was you making all of that noise right, let's grab the screws and then let's go Get both of these doors open. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to be doing today at all. Time to undo all of our hard work. Wasn't too far, I don't think. Lovely. The question still stands there. Where do we actually go? And can we even get this car? That, I think that little handgun is sounding more and more promising. Come on. Ah, Christ. Let's start flopping them from behind. We could be screwed here. Oh, and a hunting knife. I don't want to leave it. Okay, it did close. I heard it. You heard it. Nope. 
Ah, dead start. Come on, please be running. Beautiful. Right, let's get what we can. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm really up to, but getting out of here is going to be crucial. And there's the last of the <laughs> there's the last of the hospital. That is unreal. We would have been there at least another few days, I reckon. All that work just to see it, see it all flock out. Anyway, realize you're not even halfway through. Um, where should we go? Up here is probably a big no-go. Maybe we go down here. Could even head back to this point. Oh, we have just cleared all of that out, though. Could bring them all back here. We've got a lot of ammo. Could be quite fun. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's see if that base can be... Can withstand a helicopter. Where are we going? Next right. This could be a terrible idea. There are a lot of Zeds. I might not actually be able to get through all of this. Whoa, easy tiger. So it should be our next left that will take us back. Oh, is it though? Looks like it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here we go. Yeah, no, that was not the way. Oh, okay, I could have done a big silly here. Could have done a very big silly here. Alright, so far so good. Um, is there a main road? This has got to be the one, doesn't it? No. No, this is a terrible idea. I feel like I should have gone left at that point, but the road looked way too small to link up to the main highway. This one looks a little bit more promising. It feels a bit more promising too with the amount of Zeds down there. Almost feels like we're doubling back on ourselves now, though. It's got a bit away. Yeah. Not the most conventional way, but it'll get us there. There's still so many Zeds down here. There's no way I'm clearing this place by hand. Look at that. It's unreal. We've only got through 6,000 Zeds, and there's got to be at least another 6,000 just in that room, I reckon. Mm, please don't be gated. No, we're good. We're all good. All right, let's follow this straight down to the military base. We've seen this place before. We all know how hectic it actually is. Hopefully all of them don't come flocking and we can just isolate a handful because that is kind of the goal. Do not want to be fighting millions of Zeds with the handful of supplies that are down there. That would be fun. But yeah, let's let's get there. This end will just never change. Oh, there's just so many Zeds down there. You can see them all just flocking through here as well. Relentless. Yeah, I'm sure there's a, uh, a hospital down this end. I'm sure that's where all of those come from. That would have been ten times harder than the other hospital that we've conquered, I think. Place is just unreal. Did I never brought a sledgehammer down here. We do have an axe in the bag. I can't remember if I ever got into that back bit or not. It's my only thought. Like the little shipping container. Be nice to know. I reckon that's the first point that I should check out. Fingers crossed. We did. Yeah, yeah, we're in. Don't actually think there was that much gear here. No. Couple of shotguns, though. And shells. Straight on the back. Uh, I do need to clear some of this out, though. I reckon we use this one. Get rid of pretty much everything we don't need. Like twigs. Why are we still carrying twigs and thread? Random screws, hand axes we definitely don't need. Just a whole lot of crap, really. I won't lie. I completely forgot how many 
how much gear we actually had down this end. It's unreal. So we've got this entire box just full of junk, really. But these ones, outrageous. Six hunter knives, a machete, I'm sure. Yeah, we got a katana down there too. Outrageous. There's so much gear here. So many assault rifle rounds as well. That would be quite fun. But yeah, I've got a handful of boxes of shotgun shells. A couple of other bits. Nothing too crazy. So I kind of got a lot more gear than... A lot more gear than I plan to have in the event of a shotgun run. But I don't want to do a heavy, heavy shotgun run. But I wouldn't mind doing a little one. So I'm kind of thinking... We just get all four of those open. That'll do. Get her reloaded. Of course, get some sleep first. And then maybe just head up right to the centre of town. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Why not just kick it off now? It's been a heli. The piece is already disturbed. Almost be a shame not to. Let's just have a quick look at the map. So I'm kind of thinking if we can get our car back up through this point. I'd like to see what's going on here as well. If I can just drive straight through, that'd be wonderful. But yeah, if I can get maybe to this point, start unloading and just kind of see how we go. Could be quite fun. But I'll have a think about overnight and I'll see you guys bright and early. Okay, I've got a little game plan and I think it could work out provided that this is actually a road. So I'm kind of thinking head straight up here, straight through get to around about this point. This place is going to be absolutely surrounded by dead for miles. I know that each of these points at the very least are deadly. And each of these buildings have pretty much a whole town population of their own. So getting through it all is going to be pretty unachievable and absolute chaos, really. But I reckon if we can drive straight through get our car pretty close and then just start unloading as we walk backwards if we can maybe hmm I should have got a second car in place if I can maybe get to this point that step van does have enough gas in it to get us at least back to the booze van if we need it or we can try and do it on foot but either way if we can bring him from here maybe round to here That'd be a good start. It'll clear out a hell of a lot of Zeds from this area, making our assault on the police station at some point a little bit easier. That's kind of the goal. I reckon 14 boxes of shotgun shells could do the trick quite nicely. I think that's what we got. Yeah, and then five full magazines of handgun ammo. Hopefully our main gun is loaded. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, well, I guess, I guess there's only one way to get today done just to crack on. So this was not what I planned to do today at all. I'm kind of just jumping the gun a bit here. Ah, oh, they've broken the fence, haven't they? No. No, they haven't. Very confused. How did you breach the checkpoint, my friend? How did you do it? Yeah, I reckon we've got plenty of ammo to keep us safe, and that's the important bit. And plus, we do have a ridiculous hunter knife skill. Plus, five hunter knives in the bag. Can't really go wrong. But we've got a long, probably very painful drive ahead of us with my ridiculous driving. <laughs> Worst weather for it too. But yeah, we've got a long drive ahead. Oh my God, I just need to slow down. Slow down, pay attention. We might actually make it. No broken bones, that's all that matters. But yeah, we've got a long, painful drive ahead of us. I'll see you when we get there. Oh, I think I might have to ditch the car. There's no way we get through all of that. That's that's wild. So I was literally just driving up. The horde just down to our left was ten times worse than the one up here. And I don't think I'm ready to take on this kind of heat by car. So there's way too many trees, way too many chances for things to go wrong that I'm just not ready for. So this is actually the route that we drove down and decided to avoid kind of understand why. No, I fully understand why. This place is wild. So we are fully reloaded, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, how much further have we got to go? 
That's a long way by foot. A very long way by foot. Maybe we take a right and come up this way instead. I think that could be the better idea. The look of that place was just unreal. Probably not worth doing, I don't think. Kind of start to think this whole trip is probably not worth doing. But we're going to chance it anyway. Give it a whirl, see how we go. That's all we can do, really. Already made it this far. It'd be a shame to throw it all away. Okay, so I tend to make at least one pretty detrimental mistake every series that ultimately ends up leading to the near death of many characters. And I feel like this could potentially be the one. You know, just need to rest. Now we've got to go. Yeah, I ended up doing a little silly. We're, uh, we're getting pretty exhausted and things aren't looking good. I'm getting a little bit scared and would very much like to rest now, please. I'm struggling, I won't lie. I will not lie. So I haven't quite made it to the point where I wanted to. I kind of doubled back on myself and came behind an apartment building in hope to rest. Did not work out as planned. Ended up jumping into a building, almost got bit. Somehow saved it, took out two Zeds, did not rest at all. Increased my exertion, increased my carry weight. Uh, kind of hoping that would drop it down, but it did not. Yeah, we're not looking good. We're not looking good. Kind of getting a little bit scared, I won't lie. Um, I don't really know where I can go from here either, but... I kind of just going to have to figure it out, aren't we? Figure it out on the fly. Um, and of course the only option is to just start shooting and hope that we can clear enough sets to be able to rest before our exertion takes over. Plus side is, it does make life a little bit easier if we do need to escape, so it'd be slightly less sets. It's just, yeah, we're slowly getting close to the hospital. Could work out. If we can get to the booze van, could work out. It's a long way to go, and kind of puts a spanner in the works for our whole shotgun run, but life is way more important. Way more important. We've just got to somehow hold on to it. I can barely jog. Barely walk is next. I'm scared. I think this is the hospital. I think. I feel like I remember this end. Yeah, there's a couple of dead zeds there. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. What do we do is the question. Do we continue on foot? Or do we head inside and try and rest? That could be dangerous though. Yeah, you know, it will absolutely be dangerous. There's like three stories in there we haven't cleared and that heli just rolled them all up. Definitely not gonna happen. Um, just very, very wary of that. We're close. We're close to our home. Or maybe just switch out to this for a sec. Pick off who we can. Ah, we'll, we'll do it when we get there. Keep our carry weight down as much as possible. Booze van is just down the end of this road. Risky, 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 risky game. New master of taking unnecessary risk. This guy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Come on. Get a new mag in there, boy. Come on. Right, if we can pull this off, we can take on the world. Maybe. <laughs> we somehow lost our hat and glasses somewhere as well. I don't know where they ended up. I did jump out in the way, to be fair. I don't know. No idea. So I'm sure we lost them when we left the car. I don't know, maybe I'll grab somewhere. That's a lot of rounds for one Z. That's a lot of Zs for one man. Um... I need to get in there before they break that through. Come on, please be empty. 
and unlocked. Unreal. Oh, I've got no words. <laughs> Do we have food? I don't know where you came from, but glad you didn't come earlier. That's all I can say. Yeah, I've got food. Okay, all right, well, I think on that just ridiculous note, I'm gonna love you and leave you right there. I do not wanna be pushing my luck today. I've already, already used it all up, I think. So I'm gonna quit whilst I'm ahead and rest until we can't rest anymore. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.